done, boy. We're going to the beach, guys. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. Mamalu. Yeah, man. Mamalu in her glory, man. Yeah, Lenan, call you this morning and say, we're coming down. Oh, he'll be back, Anna. <laughs> she had a long, nice stretch of. Why you cried so much, Anna? What was it for? Oh, because I spoiled that song that she was singing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. She was, <laughs> she was upset. No, I wouldn't. Don't sing today. And she's crying for the people. Oh, let's see how many t-shirts. You saw the design fit? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. And what were you doing? Also, it was a verbal invitation all in the bam, giving them at the school when all event. Yes, because we didn't see them before, I should give them the CD, Sydney. You can do a nice design. Sorry. Sorry. I'll keep these, if all they don't mind. Yeah, sure. Yes, so today is Monday, guys, Monday the 11th. And we headed to Maracas Beach. So we fulfilling the first promise. Remember these girls requested three things. They want to go to the beach. They want to go to the river. They want to go to Samsara Park, is it? And the fourth thing is Florida. And the fourth thing is Florida. So Mama Lou, we were wondering, these girls would like to go to Florida for Christmas. You in any position to sponsor our family. You have four and plus an extra son to Florida for the Christmas. Can you repeat? I missed the beginning of the conversation. These blank out. Right. These guilds would like to go to Florida for Christmas. Uh -huh. You're in a position to financially fit the entire bill because Lennon and the money finished from oh, no. the last trip. And I will also like to go. Next Christmas. Next Christmas. Alright, so guys, that seems as though it's a no-no on the Florida part. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll make up for it. Yeah, man. We we'll make up for it. Passing on the outskirts of Trinity Mall, guys. Let me ask that question, let's ask. Yeah, sure, man. I love the question you just asked. Do you rather yeah. extend your home, renovate your home, yeah. so that you have two extra bedrooms and a bathroom, mm. or go on a, a one month family trip to Florida? <laughs> ah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, have a, I lost my words here. You know? <laughs> I lost my words. Let us know in the comment section which one you would rather. Would you rather okay, okay. go on a, a one month vacation to Florida or take the same money and extend it to two bedrooms and an extra bathroom for your home? Yeah. But is it like a, this addition you're talking about? It is a necessity or it's just. um. You just want to... Yeah, just consider your present living situation if you like. Yeah. Hey. Well, boy, presently... <laughs> I will... <laughs> it's not even an addition. I will like to build a two-bedroom and a toilet and a bath okay. for myself. Yes, so... um. But, you know, to honestly answer that question, I mean, if I am in a position right now where, let's say, I had a piece of land and I had money that I could build something for myself versus going on a holiday... I taking a holiday, brother. I taking a holiday. I taking that month of vacation. Go enjoy myself and come back rejuvenated to start all over again. I will treat myself, brother. My current state of mind, I treat it myself. Okay. Come on. And hopefully, come back with enough strength to make back that body and start my project. Yeah. It is something that really helps you restore your mind and rejuvenate Yes. Do you know? It's money well spent. I always say Sorry. money on a vacation is money well spent. Yes. So if you're looking for a negative, I will go all the way with you and say go on a vacation. Let's yes. give a glass of fabric, Mom. Or the Yes, that's all. So you're going to say something like that? I don't know if it still stands. Uh -huh. But up to about two, three years ago, do you know that to get your passport for a child under two years old is free? Uh -huh. It's what? It's free in Trinidad. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah. That you 
Under two. Under two years old, your child could have their passport for free. Do I get So guys, if you're looking for a nice free deal, consider making some children and go and see about their passport. Mm-hmm. Well, when you have children, remember that that's a free service and for your passport. I hear somebody say something already and I'm probably repeating it again. But just just as much as possible, be prepared for travel. Even you, Lasana. Yes. I hope you prepared for travel. I am. Because you don't know when opportunities could present yourself. Exactly. Yes. I am definitely am. Um, there, there, there are a couple things that I will like to embark on before the end of the year and my passport being one of them right so definitely i i want to be able to go into the new year at least knowing that i have an appointment what's the procedure right now for, for setting online, up our passport go online choose a date choose a location i'll send you the link so that you can pin it to the comment section here go online choose a date choose a location Go to the appointment with the required documents and, then and get your passport in order. For the appointment. Well, if it, yeah. And do you know how much it is to, to work? It is an investment in yourself, and it's an investment worth. Yes. Happen. I have been given a lot of offers by people that, hey, if ever you would like to come to the States, accommodation, some people have been generous to say that they will even sponsor a ticket. So, as you see, opportunities may lie ahead, but I can't do it without the passport. So that's something that I definitely... And you, you, can you imagine, right? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? You have different small islands who might be paying attention to what content readers are doing. They look at you, they have a sense of whoever it might be. That they, this, maybe this is somebody who we could invite. Their vibe seems aligned with our island's values. And... Let me invite this person over. We might be able to pay the plane ticket. But maybe the tourism board might be able to say, have look, look, we're providing this guest house or something for you. Make some vlogs in the area in exchange for it. And you suddenly find yourself in oh, St. Vincent, Grenada, Antigua. You should be ready for opportunities like that. And when you send that signal, others might open. You never know. Right. You never know. You never could tell, you never could tell You never could tell And saying happy belated birthday to Michael Sambrado's daughter Turning 27 years old today Did he happen to mention her name or not? He didn't He didn't, if he did, right. I missed it Yes, so we missed it Michael if it is you did make mention But happy belated birthday to your daughter Sending lots of love May God grant her health and strength I want to shout out my wife person in the vicinity so she's probably Aww, sitting at her sweet. desk hard at work Aww. and you know i really appreciate you taking care of me <laughs> while on a monday i'm apparently unemployed yes <laughs> frolicking in the city yes with a retired woman and an unemployed man <laughs> retired man <laughs> 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 the Buttes Brothers. <laughs> that looking like Thundercats up ahead there. You see, like the eyes, the space in the clouds there. Eh? Yeah. Oh, you really see it. I see it. I see that emoji. Yes. Not smiling. I guess Zip clips. Thundercats looking over the hill. Going to the beach. He said, "Good for you all." Yes. Enjoy it. She says, "And even if it rains, all of that is part of the therapy." Right, so I send a big shout out to my dear and loving sister Lee Bobatis. Sending you lots of love. May God guide and keep you strong through all through all life challenges. Shout out to Lisa Ramuta, Ian Ramuta, my nieces. Sending lots of love to Sydney, Sini and Suri. This is Daddy saying I love you. Good morning to Brandon and Natalia and my precious little son Zach. Sending lots of love to y'all. And sending lots of love to Healy and Anna. Say bye bye. Say bye. Lots of love to my parents, Lance and Louise Batiste. 
shouting out Lyndon and Kimberly. And we are on the Church of Roosevelt Highway heading into Porter Speed direction. So we facing west. And we're now driving through the Paget area. Hey, pick up my mother in law, boys, and I shout out my mother in law, watch your videos. Yes, so sending a big shout out to Kamla. Badlu. Sending lots of love. Thanks for supporting the channel. Also to Sean, Mona, uh, Stephen, and Paul. Big shout out to y'all, to Becky, her husband. What's his name again? Ashwin. Ashwin and Ashwin. Ashwin, sorry. Ashwin. And, and Aidan. Whose birthday coming up right here, Lee? Yeah. Yes. Right, another Sagittarius. And Uncle Rodney is coming on Wednesday. Yes, and Uncle Whoa. Rodney. What's the other uncle's name? Uncle, uncle Andrew. Guess which one is older? Um, <laughs> Andrew. No? Which one? Uncle Rodney. Right. Very good. Nice. Hey, I remember in school you learned about. Yes, older and oldest. Eldest, elder. And el yeah. elder. Elder. If it's two, you use the ER. My elder sister. That is one word that identifies. Pause the hydrate. Which I'll come back great. Alright, right, so let me run let me, let me, let me run out of free ad here. So guys, if you're feeling down and you're feeling out, power is pause is the power. Power up today with power aid. Power aid. Yes. yes. Want to reduce armpit here? Drink power aid. Yes. What, it's the greatest. So pause the hydrate and come back great. I guess who's the eldest? And mom. And uncle uh, Kev Kevin. I think it's your mom. Is it your mommy? No, she's not first. She is what? You have to put it in order. I'm not telling you. Oh she, she Okay, I am going to make time. I am going to make a guess. I will say that it's because Uncle Sean right? first. Yes. Yeah. Right? Then I will see Auntie Becky. No? Okay, Uncle Rodney. Right? And after Uncle Rodney is Auntie Becky. Then it's Uncle Andrew. Yeah. Auntie Becky. Yeah. And then your mommy. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. And I could guess I could guess who's their mom. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that that's a hard one no? Kamla! I guess who is daddy? Their daddy, his name is what was his name again? Mr. Badlu. What's his Kevin name? Lindon. Also, Kevin Lyndon. Well, let's see if he knows her grandfather's name. Now we're going to put Kelly in here under a desk. Aha, I know what it is. Daddy, what do you Kelvin. Kelvin. No? Yeah. Okay, let me, let's hear. It's a K word. It's a K word, Sam. Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you know that I met your grandfather about a year or so before um, meet him? No, the first time we all went to meet him, right? Because Mama had invited us over for a lunch. I had, yes, we went, yes, we went and, and, and had lunch. That was the purpose of going there. Isn't Linda? That's right, of course. That's the correct way it went. No, 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 no. Something, something ain't mixed up in. It, it was. Just... Kimberly's mother invited us over. This is before Oli even got married or anything. Right. Yeah. She did. But I didn't think. And, and Kenneth, so Kenneth was no, there. No, 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 no. He, he passed away Ken, about, Kenneth, about 12 Kenneth, about 13 years ago, you know. Kenneth was there and when he came outside, I said, but Lyndon, I right. know this man. Right. Yeah, but that, that's over like 13 or 14 years ago we were talking about it. Mommy thinking about a more recent, you thinking about a more recent event, 
just before we got married yes. that Kamala invited everybody he had, he had already deceased well we had met him on a previous thing yeah we, that. we were probably going to Ikakas or something and had mm. stopped in there and that's when Lasana you you met him but when we first met him at their residence Lasana uh -huh. realized that hey I bounced up this man already prior to this right and you recall them from the meeting which you could get back to now yes I was um I was actually I left I left work on my motorcycle and rain was falling really really heavy. So at this point he doesn't know that this is mommy's yes, I do. Yeah. Your mommy's daddy, right? This is just someone he met a stranger. Yes. And rain was falling. They were actually constructing the gas station on the BWIA Boulevard. Right? And so I pulled into the gas station to shelter from the rain. And there he was. Also sheltering from the rain. He was actually on his way. He said that one of his friends had passed away. Mm -hmm. Right? And he, he was just sheltering from the rain. He was going to go in to the funeral. So we just spoke briefly. The rain eased up. I jumped up on motorbike. <laughs> yes. And lo and behold, when they go to the residence now. We went to the residence and the man come out of the room. The man come out of the room. I said, wait there. Buy for this man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? When, when, when I recollected the, um, the incident, yes, he, he remembered it. Yes. Boy. The body world is really small and that, you, you know, you just meet a person at random. Like in a gas station, you are sheltering from the rain, and then yeah. one or two years down somewhere down the road, you end up in the man house. I mean, what's the odds of that? Hey, but that's a fantastic feat. Yeah. Because if both people are in the house, I'm going to move. Yeah. You meet people. By the way. Oh. Yes. Oh, sorry. One second, Anna. You have a question? Go ahead. Are we there yet? Oh gosh, I no, never baby. start that so early. But this, this is usually the part where you begin to ask that question. Something she, she has an affinity with Pongto and say, yeah. Are we there yet? Maybe we have about one hour to go again. <laughs> but think about the fun, God willing, you will have when we get there. Focus on the fun, not on the drive. <laughs> Remember how when we were in the States and we driving up to South Carolina for eight hours and all you saying is, when are we going to reach? When are we going to reach? <laughs> so she come like you now. Boy, but here I didn't know you to sit down in a car for eight hours and drive, you know? For a five-year-old. Jeez. Yeah, boy. Jacksonville and it's gonna take you take us four hours and I suck it off and I said, What? Yeah, that was Anna. That was Anna's word for that entire trip. <laughs> what? Yeah, Daddy, how long again for the slinky dog ride? Anna about 45 minutes. What? <laughs> Daddy, how long to get something to eat? 10 minutes. What? <laughs> Anna, how long again? Five minutes. What? <laughs> It didn't matter how long it was. Exclamation! Oh, oh my gosh! What? All right. So guys, remember, I would have said in that earlier vlog, based on the information that came in from everybody, this is the beginning of the Uriah Bus Butler Highway, and guys, it does not end at Grand Bazaar. It ends at the Shogunas flyover. So we have that information. So from Shagwanas, going all the way down to now the highway reaches as far as Penal. That is the Solomon Hotroy Highway, correct? Uh, and Penal also West Hansel. And Y3D, you need to come down and do a vlog on this brewery now. <laughs> you do a nice um, vlog on a brewery, you know? Fantastic. Hey, that was so nice of Y3D to the call this morning, boy. So big up to my boy White Trini and Shy Gill. Keep up the good work, guys. Yeah, Lots of people love all you.
Yes. Wing Ho Chinese restaurant. I wonder if this sawmill is still in operation. Alright, guys, that's our old sawmill. Looks as though it's still operating. So we're in the Chamflay area. Seeing some really old clay pipes there. Factory here, you know. Guys, look at the development of the place. Food basket. This is the Chamflay area. Well, watch me now. I need to go back into one of my older videos and see if I could. You see, but you see how. Is it as for history to be lost? What was actually here? How far are we? I would say we are about an hour drive. An hour's drive. No, a little hour, hour. Five minutes ago. So 55 minutes again, darling. 55 minutes. What? And if you keep asking at that rate, the next time you ask, it's going to be 50 minutes again. <laughs> so we have a five minute cock down, guys. You know what's an interesting thing to do, Anna? You, you look outside and you try to see buildings and what they call a landmark and say, oh, there's a blue building. So maybe the next time you pass, they say, oh, I think I saw that blue building. Yes. yes. And you should be able to know the drive to get to Maracas Beach. So I'm going to ask you all in a little bit, where do we have to turn to start our journey or continue our journey towards Maracas Beach? Because if we miss the road, <gasps> We'll end up in Port of Spain. We'll end up in Port of Spain. Or we just say sour. Old gas station. Okay, so Anna, look out because Daddy's going to have to, depending on you, where to turn off to put the beach. I want to see if you're okay. There is the post lady. But you have an image in your mind, Haley, very good. That is some kind of blue or green building up ahead, maybe. So remember these blinking traffic lights? This is where I start to make a mental note. Hey, can you just imagine this traffic light here for the past 30, 40 years or more? Just blinking, blinking, blinking. Yes. <laughs> Only didn't have traffic lights. Daddy, you be one year old and you I'll be one year old, yeah. These things just doing the job, that's in place. That was your blinking job. All right, so guys, we are in the Petit Bog area, and I have no problem repeating the same things over and over again, guys. I mean, we did this drive. Would it have been maybe like about three months ago, Linda? About three months ago, we went to the beach with Haley and Anna. Make this exact drive, but maybe I might have been focusing the camera to the left this time. Hopefully, I'm focusing on the next side. So, look around, you might see somewhere that you used to live. I remember I did a vlog down at Vince Kitchen, and here my boy Elmo was saying that he was so excited because he actually saw the house that he grew up in in the background. Was he on that boy? I'm, I'm watching that video and there in the background is a the house I grew up in. So big shout out to my boy Elmo. He's actually one that always tell me to organize my passport and come and spend a nice vacation up in the United States. You know, Elmo and I have a very strange relationship. Eh? In the early days, right? Yes, it looked like um, a little sugar cane press. In the beginning, when I know started to make my videos, right? We could use this road, but is that building up ahead you're thinking about it? Yes, Suping Chow. Suping Chow. Yes, Linda, in the beginning. Um, that was light. Yes, and Elmo was 
he had his he had his own opinions. Oh, okay. So there right? was darkness on you. Yes, there was, yes, there was a bit of darkness. In the and boy, you know, one day I just said, my brother, it could be nice if you could just send me some love. And that was the game changer. I said, I have been through a lot. And it'll just be nice if you could send me some love. And do you know that in the name of love, this man started to support me, boy? You know, so sometimes, sometimes it, it... I would hmm. say about 50 minutes. Yes. I would just let that, that thought die down. No, no, no. Like, yeah. It's okay, man. Love is... is Supreme Chow on this corner. This building has been standing faithfully as a landmark for everybody that's on the Eastern Main Road. Looking for the shortcut to cut back in onto the saddle road. So this helps us avoid the crazy. If it wasn't for this road, we'll have to go all the way to the crazy. And look at that beautiful drive. Yes, yes, yes. All the girls are right in the back there. What's happening, man? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, Granny in the back to take care of that. So I did a 360 flip. Woo! A 360 flip, boy. How far are you in, Hannah? 50 minutes. <laughs> so we'll reach there just now, guys. And a big shout out to the TWA squad, TWA, big up all the self, all the whole, whole self. No, Annie, it's, it's okay. It's okay if he doesn't want any hug right now, baby. That's fine. Maybe a little bit later on she'll want to be hugged, but I know I want to be hugged. So a little later, I'm looking out for my hug, okay? Nice, baby. Thank you very much. Say a fish and for daddy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what I really try to do is allow my yes, children to daddy. express themselves and when they don't want to be hugged. They don't want to be hugged. Daddy. Yes. Yeah. Daddy. If I am. Um, silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> love with punches, and I love the love with punches. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Not only time you all want to be hugged. Hey, that's a beautiful design on that um on that window there, boy. Look nice, huh? Not for real to make No, what you want me to be? Could you love me for me? Could you hug me for me? Could you hug me for me? Real love with no strings attached. I want to give you my heart. I don't want to take it back. All right, so. Cynthia Redmond. Cemetery, yes. Born in 1920, deceased in 1977. All right, so how old is that uh, person? Tell me, born in 1920, died on 1977. How old is that person? Quickly. 57. 57, that's right. And old school will always win. Right, so in 1977. All right, so we'll go quickly there to 22 years. That's 45. 23 years. And 46 right. years ago the person died? Yes. Yes. In 1977? Yeah. So okay. the person was born in 1920, lived for 57 years, died in 1977. And 46, 46 years, years later, we are passing at the cemetery <laughs> to so discover. That would have been how old then? Imagine so that person would have been 57, but how old would the person have been That's now? Right, right? 57 Ooh, plus 46. <laughs> Oh, 103 years old guys and that is Victor Sutton's age so most likely Mr. Sutton was born in 1920 that's right correct yeah baby yes well 20 yeah 103 yeah alright so so quickly so quickly your brains could work guys my brain don't work so fast especially when it comes to numbers well we but we arrived at 103 which is Victor Sutton's age right and 
we already know that that person was born in 1920. We did the maths accurately, so we could safely say Mr. Sutton was born in 1920, and we will verify that with Daddy later. Verify with the calculator. Yes. <laughs> Hey, we we need on behalf of I could, I could send out a little message on behalf of Cora. Of course, Cora is in desperate need of improved garbage facilities. Not just for the people who attend in the river, but for for residents. Yes, the accumulation, the accumulation yeah, of. It, 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 area is it way too yes. small folks i think number one no. the location is in a bad place you cannot put a dustbin disposal system at the entrance of one of your main Reverse. river pools yes, that is a right well, the 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 it's constructed number one they need to demolish that area because you should not have a rubbish collection point it is at the entrance definitely. and secondly you give the people a mickey mouse storage unit to fit in all that garbage i mean to say do you think is mickey mouse and donald duck and they living up inside akora is big families people come on <laughs> look at it no i'm telling you that's the size of some people dustbin yeah at home, in, maybe you and i should have at, a dustbin at home, that size yes or maybe no. um for like a, a little Apartment building that okay, is the so size. Let's, let's put it into perspective. The the garbage facility that they have that serves the entire Cora community as yes. well as river beaters I took them there and pool two yes. is probably the size of five barrels. Five That's barrels are boy, and you still so and, and you being still generous. being generous. Yeah, I think I've been generous. I think two barrels standing up and one barrel lying across the top of the two. Well that so three be, that should be used for just for the people who go to cook by the river. They could put their garbage in that. Well, right, okay, nice. Yeah, because but all the garbage remains right there and dogs push the garbage. Yeah, yeah, no, it is atrocious, guys. It's atrocious. For the holidays, that would yes. create a brand new place. But then there's a the supermarket up ahead there. If you could just pull in there for me, please. Or by, um, or by Royal Castle yeah. or something. Oh, Annie, what's up, baby? We all talking at the same time. That is bad. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, this family can real talk it. Yeah, no, and she's a guilt sensitive. <laughs> yeah. You need a little you need a little break, a breather? Banging by Royal Castle. Here. Oh gosh, you know, I need my bag to go back. How convenient. But <laughs> well, don't worry, I go buy it and you go pay my back. Okay. <laughs> now the joke is good. Alright, so I'm gonna get some eats here. Oh, no, darling, you keep your money, darling. That's nice, really. Ask the You could keep it running, or we could end off that day and we could start back our track. So, guys, we just stopped to get some Royal Castle, and this will be the first part of our video. So, hope you enjoy this. Look out for the one later on with the um, with the beach itself. Okay, How long are you to reach the beach? 40 minutes. Annie, your ears will get a little restaurant now, right? He went outside. <laughs>